Hello my very most beautiful Cancers. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your May 30th weekly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So guys, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Cancers, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Cancers energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, so let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. All right, so I do feel like I do feel like there's something here that you guys um, really, really want to make happen. Okay, that's what this feels like to me. There's there's something here that you guys really desire. For a lot of you guys, I do feel like this is a past connection that you guys want to reconcile. Okay, we have the magician here for your general overall energy. We got the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys have been really focused on yourself in this period of separation. Um, focused on your work, focused on your passions. But I do also feel like you guys are very focused on this one person. It's like. It's like you really don't see anybody else. Nobody else really, you know, um, you know, this is what you want. This is the person that you want. You want to put the work in on this. You think that this is something and somebody that is worth that. The Ten of Cups, you see them as your happy, happily ever after. Now, they could have a guard up, a wall up to you. You could want them to, you know, lower their defenses. You could want them to open up to you or move back towards you. We're going to have to take a look and see what's going on with this. In your thoughts, in your section of the thoughts and communication, we have the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So to me, especially with this energy here, I think you guys are very focused on, you know, making something work from the past. Like I said, this is what you guys see as your happily ever after. This is what you guys want. This is what you desire. I do feel like you, you really do feel like this could work. And a lot of you guys are... I feel like getting a lot of attention and maybe that's from other people maybe that's you know at work but I do feel like there's a lot of um, there's a lot of recognition there's a lot of attention you guys could be looking very attractive at this time you guys are feeling good but you still know what you want okay the ace of swords here for your communication so you're having a lot of realizations maybe breakthroughs in other areas of your life but you're still trying to figure out how to overcome this obstacle, okay, with this person, how to have a breakthrough in this situation. There's a lot that I feel like you guys could want to say, okay? You could have a lot that you want to say to this person. Um, but like I said, I still feel like you guys are trying to figure out a way to overcome the any, any obstacles that are facing you, whether it's this person's um, lack of effort or the lack of communication or, you know, this person maybe having their guard up with seven of wands in the reverse. I feel like you want them to lower that. Um, so there's like wanting a breakthrough in that situation. We have the queen of swords here for your... Um, emotions in the area of your emotions this week queen of swords so i feel like you are ready to put past things behind you as in like past traumas past you know obstacles that you've experienced especially when it relates to this person and this connection it's like you're willing to put the past you know let bygones be bygones you're willing to put that behind you anything that's happened between the two of you in order to make this work because you're very clear about what you want i do feel like you are ready to welcome in um a second chance with this person Get the Eight of Wands in the reverse for what your intuition is trying to tell you. So there's definitely a lack of communication here um, between you and this person. There's definitely a lack of communication. So as as clear as you are, I feel like that's why this is coming in because it's a little bit of a, I don't want to put it like 
a little bit of a reality check is what this is feeling like to me. It's a little bit of a reality check. You know, your intuition's like, hold up. Yes, you are very clear about what you want. Yes, you're ready to work on this. You know, this is your happily ever after. You think this can work. You're having all this clarity. You're ready to do this, but let's take a moment to see where we're really at. Where is this person at? You know, I think it's just a little bit of like a, a grounded energy, a little bit of a reality check here. And we got the world card in the reverse for what you're trying to ground so like what you're trying to make happen yeah something still feels very open to you okay this connection is like you feel in your heart of hearts like this just isn't really over okay you feel like this is still open it there's definitely unfinished business here and I, I feel like that's what you're trying to ground is some kind of you know some kind of solution to this we are going to clarify some of this in a moment but we have the eight of or the ace of cups in the reverse here for the stability this week. So, like it's like I said, as clear as you are, I feel like there's a lack of it. Okay, there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of expression of emotion when it comes to this person and you. So you're not getting anything from them at this time. Um, but your you know your energy is very clear. Your energy is very strong. It's just you're not getting that back. It's not. Um, I don't, it's not reciprocal at this time, okay? And I do feel like it could be difficult at times to want something um, this badly and then not be getting anything back in return, okay? And, I, and you can see that here because what your challenge for the week is, is the Five of Cups. So just feeling very disappointed, you know, still grieving the fact that this person isn't in your life. And although you have very positive energy and you're very clear about what you want and I feel like very determined and especially with the world in the reverse, like in this position, you have the faith, you have hope that this is something that can absolutely turn around, absolutely can work out. You feel like it will. Okay. You have that faith, but that doesn't make it easier to deal with in the meantime. And it really does feel to me like that is your challenge is dealing with some of these uh, more difficult energies. Okay. You could have something that is triggered this week with this combination that kind of causes a little bit of an outpouring of emotion maybe something happens and you want to you want to talk to this person about it and you can't and that's a little bit triggering or you know there's a song that comes on or you know a movie that you watch or something here that's a little bit triggering um, and, it, and it could put you in a lower energy this week it could really have you be feeling very down missing this person you know that kind of a thing um, but for your in your area of what you are creating. We have the Six of Cups. Now we have to be careful with the Six of Cups because to me, sometimes, especially the past person when we want it, we can't, we only remember like the really beautiful things about the connection. Um, you know, we don't necessarily remember all of the negative things or we kind of like see it through rose colored glasses, so to speak. Also being careful with this energy combination here, okay, because Memory lane, they call it taking a stroll on memory lane for a reason because you're supposed to take a quick stroll and then get up off of it because you cannot post there. You cannot post up on memory lane with your lazy boy and your beer koozie and Netflix because that gets us into this five of cups energy. Okay. Once we, once we spend too much time dwelling in the past, we can get, you know, what could have, should have, would have, all of that you know, it can really bring down your energy. It can make it very difficult to, you know, even function. It can, it can put you in a very depressive, you know, anxious kind of state. Okay. And those, once we get there, it can be really difficult to pull ourselves out of. So it's okay when stuff comes up for you to acknowledge it, but we can't post up there. We can't stay there. We got to take a quick stroll and then we got to get off of it. Um, and, and I feel like that's something that's going to be really important this week because what you're creating is a lot of time in the past, a lot of time thinking about this person. And I do, I feel like it kind of puts you in a little bit of a sad place. It puts you in a little bit of a lower, um, a little lower, lower vibration. Now for what you're destroying is the queen of pentacles. So that is one of the ones I want to especially clarify because I feel like you guys have put a lot of time, effort, and energy into, um, into some self-care into yourself with that queen of pentacles and it's almost like this energy here this energy combination queen of pentacles with the six of cups five of cups energy it feels a little bit self-destructive to me okay um a little self-sabotage it's like you go start off in such a positive state this week okay in this beautiful positive energy having faith having hope having realizations having breakthroughs um and then it seems like something happens it's like you get triggered this week and you get into this very low vibe and 
you know, it's like what you're destroying is all this effort, time and attention, this work that you've put into, you know, yourself and maintaining your energy. Your, what you don't see coming is a death card in the reverse. It's a resistance to change, okay? I feel like there is some kind of transformation trying to occur within yourself, within your energy. Um, but then you like, it's like you get stuck on this negative past energy and it makes it really difficult for you to continue on. Um, I still feel like it's also, you know, the fact that you you really feel like this isn't over. And this still feels very open with you. And I feel like that is a very challenging energy. Um, and it's one thing to acknowledge that, but it's another than to kind of submerge into it. So we're going to clarify some things. Tell me about this Ace of Swords here. There could be some communication. These sorts can also be communication. This is in the area of your communication as well. So there could, what could be so triggering for you this week is that there could be some kind of um, communication or news coming in. You have the sun card. Yeah, so I do feel like with the sun and the moon and the ace of swords, um, there could be something like you see, something you read, something somebody tells you, um, some kind of message or phone call. There's something, some kind of information coming into you that illuminates something that you didn't see before. Okay, so you could find something out about this past person, um, you know, this person that you've been having this hope for that you've been holding on to. Um, you could definitely find something out um, that you weren't aware of is what that feels like to me. That could be what is very triggering. Um, let's continue on. Something about this Queen of Swords. So you're very clear about what you want and that things can be overcome because you have a lot of love for this person. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. You definitely don't have to be, but you do have it one, two, three, four, five, six times. That's a lot of energies. You also have um, Pisces here a few times as well. Got the Aries here as well too. So, you know, you're very clear about what you want, and that is showing up in your emotions. That's what's kind of keeping you, um, that's what's been keeping you, how do I want to put it, like keeping you upright. Like, I feel like this has been very difficult for you, being away from this person, the loss of this connection. Um, and the one thing that has been keeping you going and keeping you positive and moving forward is the fact that you really believe that you guys love each other enough that, you know, love will win out and that you can, you know, make this happen. So whatever this information is that you did not know um, when it comes to this past person, um, I do feel like that kind of, it kind of shakes that a little bit and it's very difficult for you. Um, it, you know, it really submerges you into this kind of harder energy this week. Tell me about this Eight of Wands in the reverse, the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be finding out that this person is in a new commitment um, or has moved in with somebody or something of that nature, something very solid, okay? Um, obviously, that's not going to be the case for everyone, but it is for some of you guys out there. Um, to me, this is also just saying in the area of your intuition is it's trying to pull your focus back. One of the ways to help you deal with some of these harder energies is to focus or pull your focus back to, um, you know, like what you value the most, the important things that you have in your life, the fact that you have a really beautiful support here. The Ten of Pentacles, you know, that's family, that's support, that's people that you, you know, have in your life that want to um, want to support you and help you out here. Okay. Tell me about this world card in the reverse. We have the death energy. So. Yeah, something that has come to a close still feels very open to you, and that can make, you know, these energies difficult to deal with. And that's, you know, why this is showing up as what you don't see coming is, you know, that it something is completed and you're having a hard time accepting that here. Tell me about this Ace of Cups in the reverse, the Emperor. So, yeah, I do feel like you're trying to, like, get it together, trying to keep it together. Because sometimes the emperor to me can just be, like, you know, telling yourself, you know, I, I can get through this. I can do this. It's like it's like trying to, like, gas yourself up or, you know, step into a more empowered energy, even if you're not feeling that at the time. Even if you're feeling very overwhelmed and very, you know, emotional, just telling yourself, you know what, I can do this and I am going to be okay. Um, because I do feel like whatever this information that you're finding out is or whatever this communication is, whatever it is you see, um... You know, it is very um, emotionally overwhelming for you. 
Tell me about the Six of Cups. We got the Ace of Wands. And this is in what you're creating. So there is an, I do feel like that is showing up for what you're, you know, trying to create as well. Um, you know, you want a new beginning with this past person. You still feel very strongly. You still feel very passionately about this. The high priestess fell out on top of it. Some of you guys could also be with this energy. What you could be creating is finding out that, like I said, some of you guys, the past person, you know, um, has already started with somebody else. And that's something that, you know, was kind of hidden from you before. Maybe even they didn't want you to know. Um, but I definitely feel like you're finding that out now if that's what it is for you. Like I said, for others of you, maybe you're not finding out something like that. Maybe it is just something that is very triggering. A song, a movie, something of that nature. But for some of you guys, you're definitely finding something out here. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy. The Ten of Swords. So I feel like, yes. I feel that's another thing is you have, um, you know, it's... It's difficult because you've invested a lot into this and have been holding on to this as well. So you could just be having a hard time letting go of something that you put so much effort into, something that you put so much time into. Tell me about this Five of Cups energy. The full card. So this is in your challenge. You know, there is a there is a new beginning waiting for you, okay? And things are trying to close out. I feel like there's a big resistance to something closing out here, but there is stuff trying to come in for you, okay? Um, and it's like the universe is kind of pushing you to see the see the possibilities, okay? So you're you're grieving, you're disappointed. It's it's very it's a very heavy energy, but there's a brand new beginning here for you. You have a blank canvas, and you know, even in the Eight of Cups, you know, we always focus on the fact that he's walking away from something, but we don't think about what they're walking towards. They're walking away from something, but they're walking towards something too, you know. And that's the thing is, you know, you having to walk away from the situation or put this behind you, um, that's difficult. And yes, you are walking away from something that you really wanted, and that is you know, something that you loved, but you're also walking towards something else, okay? And that is a brand new beginning that is here for you. Tell me about the death in the reverse. Why is that what cancer doesn't see coming? The three of cups. So, let's get one more for this. And two of pentacles. I do feel like, you know, the death in the reverse can be like a resistance to change. I feel like you've wanted this for so long. You've held on to it for so long that it's like trying to find your balance. I feel like you will find your balance. Two of Pentacles, you are going to find the balance in um, moving forward and what life is like once you put this behind you. I feel like there's been a, a big resistance to change because you've been holding on to this um, this idea of reconciliation. Uh, I do feel like whatever you guys are finding out or whatever energies are coming in to support you this week uh, are helping you change perspectives here and just really be cautious and focused on not being in such a, um, you know, a, a negative energy. It can be hard, but really what is going to help you with that is staying off of memory lane, okay? Trying not to spend too much time in the past, trying to stay present in the moment. We're going to grab another deck and we are going to get some advice for you guys. What advice do we have for cancers, please? What advice do we have for cancers? We have the justice card and the wheel of fortune. So things are moving forward and if, especially if you guys have been stuck, if this is somebody that you've been holding on to for a while, holding on to for quite some time, you know, the universe is, the energies are coming in to kind of support you into moving forward because there is something that is meant for you out there. I do feel like you guys could be discovering some kind of truth with this justice card energy that really does help you move forward. So even though it's painful in this moment, um, it's really, really helping you move forward, okay? And it's opening you up to brand new beginnings and new possibilities. 
Um, but that is what I have for you guys this week. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light.